you are going to be bound by a contrast and the contrast that i've seen english is a language it is not a measure of my intelligence just never ever let yourself be so desperate that you settle for less i have failed ielts before what is up guys welcome back to my channel the channel where we keep things real and today we are going to be getting into the reality of coming as a healthcare assistant to uk a couple of weeks ago i posted a youtube video from diana because it was talking about how you can come as a healthcare assistant to uk but it seems like a lot of people misinterpreted me most people thought that i am saying nurses should come to uk as healthcare assistant especially if you have been uh, writing your ielts and failing over and over again however i will never ever encourage any nurse to come as a healthcare assistant to uk you know there are pros and cons of coming as a health care assistant in uk and i shared the videos with you which highlighted the pros of coming as a healthcare assistant to uk and i'll leave the links in the description those are not my videos the videos which are done by diana who has great content by the way you might consider subscribing to her channel as well so in this video i'm going to be discussing with you the cons of coming or the disadvantages of coming as a healthcare assistant to uk also i'm going to highlight a few things about the ielts english test i'm going to share with you a motivational story for ielts or oet so that if you've been failing ielts and you think it is the end of the world it is not the end of the world and this video is going to motivate you to keep pushing so before we get into it my name is Pauline Popomoyo. Like I've already said, this is the channel where we keep things real. And if hearing nothing but the truth about nursing in UK or overseas is something that you're interested in, consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. For now, let's get into it. All right, they're asking for the queen. I'm a bad bitch, she's a savage Look, look, look back while I turn No comparison I'm a savage Classy, bougie, magic Sassy, moody, nasty Hacking, stupid, that was happening Bitch, that was happening So a couple of weeks ago when I posted Diana's video Across all social media The first question which people asked was why am i posting that video the views that she's going to get are not coming to my channel are going to her channel guys i am not in competition with diana remember this is what i said for me youtube is to help people people who've got questions people are coming here to uk anything else which comes with youtube is an extra to me and i'm grateful for that otherwise the whole purpose of me having a YouTube channel is one by public request, two to help those who need help. Because if people say Popo help us with this, I would help. Why wouldn't I help if I'm capable of helping? And one last thing, guys. You run your own race. This is not a competition. I personally don't compete with anyone and in your life don't compete with anyone run your own race finish at your own time so you understand this also applies to IELTS guys because I've noted we have a tendency of competing with our colleagues at work most of the time you see that maybe you're working in a ward and you're 10 11 uh, five other nurses have done their IELTS, they've passed and they're coming to UK and because you're competing with them, you also feel pressured to do your IELTS and you go ahead and take the exam when you're not even ready. At the end of the day, you fail the exam because you did not take the exam because you're ready, but you took the exam because your colleagues have taken the exam and have passed. Guys, in this life, do not compete with anybody the only person that you can compete with is yourself 
that's why i said i was able to post diana's video because i am not in competition with her i'm running in my own lane she's running in her own lane and her shining does not dim my shining we can both shine together so when you are preparing for your ielts do not compete with anybody run your own race finish at your own time and if you run your own race and finish at your own time you will not fail your ielts believe it or not i have failed ielts before i have failed ielts before before i came here i set for my ielts and i got 8 8.5 7.5 and a 6.5 in writing and at the time 6.5 in writing was not acceptable i was devastated because i had thoroughly prepared for this examination but what you have to know about uh, ielts is that english is a language it is not a measure of my intelligence just because i had a 6.5 in writing that didn't mean i'm dull you understand so if you see yourself failing ielts it doesn't mean that you are dull english is just a language not a measure of your intelligence even doctors fail english i'm going to share with you what someone shared with me regarding um their ielts and i gave them the advice which i gave myself when i failed and i nailed the exam within the next month so let's get into it so guys this individual wrote her ielts in march 2020 as you can see she got an overall band of seven had a 6.5 in reading and a six in writing so she failed on those two areas but she did not give up and in september 2021 she won and rewrote again that was a year later and she got another 5.5 in her reading this is around the time that i met her in september when she had written this examination and uh, when i spoke with her she went and took the exam again and this time around she came back with a 6.5 in reading and passes in all other areas so here she failed a reading with 6.5 and this is a third attempt guys she said to me how are you doing i thought i would come back with some good news then my response was ha what a painful result i know how much that hurts i have been in a similar spot but that's when you get angry and go back and fight for the scores you want the money part is the issue but don't despair it will be fine you have absolutely amazing scores you really did so well you are not far so guys i did not encourage you to come as a healthcare assistant but to go and fight fight to get the score that she deserves i said to her it's really painful i know but the sooner you go for it again the better your scores are amazing you are just brilliant so go for it again you will nail it she went back on 25th november and thursday 9th december her results came out and she had good news and she shared the good news with me as you can see guys thanks so much for the encouragement passing this thing feels so good so guys you see that with the hard work and determination you get the scores that you want you see guys this is to motivate you this is a woman who put in her maximum effort and did not give up i am not saying when she went to write her exam first she did not put her effort because when i went to write my own ielts exam i took it like any other exam i dedicated myself i only slept four hours per day studying for ielts but i came up with a 6.5 in writing does it mean i'm dull no i'm not because english is a language and not a measure of my intelligence have you seen the english that's the english people write if you're here in the uk comment down below have you seen the english that the english people write here in the uk have you listened to the english that other people from the european countries speak i'm not saying i'm perfect in english 
as you know you see if you watch my videos i always break the english first days i used to try and correct and say oops grammar but now i just go with the flow with my broken english but that's not a measure of my intelligence okay let's talk about the disadvantages of coming to uk as a healthcare assistant and why i wouldn't recommend anyone to come as a healthcare assistant first of all it is costly to come as a healthcare assistant the people who are recruiting healthcare assistants are making them pay a fortune i spoke to somebody who has paid 2400 pounds for her to get to uk as a healthcare assistant but this is not a nurse as she trained as a nsa fair enough would you rather spend 2400 to come and work as a healthcare assistant or you'd rather take that 2400 pounds and try ielts over and over again until you pass it not that i'm recommending you that you try ielts six seven ten times but you dedicate yourself and commit yourself and review the strategies that you've been using towards your ielts and pass your ielts and come and work as a registered nurse in uk than for you to spend 2400 so that you come here and work as a healthcare assistant I'm going to show you a pay slip from someone who works as a senior care assistant here in UK. So this is a senior carer's pay slip. As you can see at the top there, the hourly rate is £8.91. And this individual did 66 hours and 22 hours, which is equivalent to 88 hours roughly that is four days per week and this is a pay slip which will be equivalent to two weeks pay so for two weeks pay you would get 768.76 if you calculate this by two it will give you roughly around 1500 pounds which means if you work four days every week at the end of the month you will take home around 1000 500 pounds based upon the salary that i have shown you if you're going to be getting paid 1.4 1.5 one thing that i can tell you is that the healthcare assistant jobs they are not common in northern ireland they're not common in wales they're not common in uh, scotland most or all of the healthcare assistant jobs are in england and england is one of the most expensive places in uk so you take up a job as a healthcare assistant you come and get paid 1500 pounds the average cost of rent for one room in london is between 650 and 800 pounds and when i'm saying one room i'm not saying a one bedroom house i mean one room one room in the literal sense where you're having one room you might have a a common place which is the kitchen and the bathroom but you are living in one room it will cost you 650 to 800 pounds already if you're earning 1500 pounds you've already taken half of your salary you need to support your family which is back home from that amount of money you need to pay uh for your transport you need to buy your own food you need to all those things that you that you need for you to survive as an individual how much are you going to be able to save from 1,500 pounds? Secondly, there's an advantage that you are able to come with your family. You can bring your family. When you are bringing your family to UK, you fork the money out of your pocket. How much are you going to be able to save if your pay is just 1,500 pounds? Your rent and your expenses and everything, they go up to 1,200 pounds. Maybe you're able to save 300 per month. And from that 300 per month is the one that you're also going to save home. You end up remaining with just 100 pounds per month. And when you remain with just 100 pounds per month, how much is a plane ticket to UK? How much is the TP test? If you've got five family members, how much do you need? for a plane ticket and uh, for the TP test and everything you will need something like maybe five thousand to seven thousand pounds for you to bring your family over and everything so if you are to be left with 
100 pounds or 200 pounds per month to save so that you bring your family how many months are you going to be saving 200 for you to reach 5,000 or 7,000 pounds? So which means if you come here to UK as a healthcare assistant, the disadvantage is you are not going to see your family for a very, very long time. And believe you me, spending a month without seeing your family is very painful spending a month without seeing your children is very painful so what of two months three months ten months one year because it's not easy to save money here in uk it's not easy at all and then another thing people will say oh no if you come to uk it's better than being kwasadza as in it's better than being maybe in nigeria it's better than being in ghana it's better than being in zimbabwe it's better than being in Botswana." Oh, it's better than being in any African country because most of our African countries are poor. Who we'll said it is better than being there? Because for you to know if something is better than something, you should have experienced it because the test of the pudding is in the eating. So let me tell you something, guys. When you come here to work as a healthcare assistant, you are going to be bound by a contract. And the contracts that I've seen a five-year contracts and the contracts don't have this clause like a nursing contract where they say uh if you decide to leave the company you are going to pay back the contracts require you to work with them for five years so this thing that no i will come then i'll read for my ielts and pass then i'll go and become a nurse you are bound by a contract and a contract is something which is legally binding you are supposed to abide by the contract for the next five years you understand five years getting 1500 pounds and do you know what they're doing to the people who are coming to work here as healthcare assistant they are not making them work in care homes no they are making them do domiciliary visits where per given day you are given 12 clients to go to by the way you don't even have a car when you first start here you have to go to Denmark, you have to go to scotland you have to go to belfast antrim 10 places per given day and you'll be commuting from place to place from place to place and the uk weather if you are not driving is a pain in the wrong place it's very cold here very very cold so you'll be freezing, you'll be rained on, you go to the client here, you finish with this client, you go to another client who is five kilometers away, you go to another client who is 10 kilometers away, you go to another client who is 15 kilometers Why torture yourself like that? Why? When you can just commit yourself to reading your IELTS and come as a nurse and go and work in one place and get paid good monies. Hmm? guys you will not be able to apply for indefinite leave to remain because indefinite leave remain is very expensive here in the uk you will be required to pay one individual you pay around about 2200 if it's a if it's the one which takes longer and if you want a faster one you pay around 3100 3200 there and if you've got five family members how much are you going to pay and how are you going to be able to save that money from a healthcare assistant a salary that you'll be getting? You get it, guys. So, those are the disadvantages of coming as a healthcare assistant. Popo doesn't want you to come as a healthcare assistant to UK, but ultimately, the choice is yours. So, the ball is in your courts. You decide if you want to come as a healthcare assistant go ahead and come as a healthcare assistant but you'll regret it you will regret it trust me on that one this does not mean that if you are a healthcare assistant don't come as a healthcare assistant to uk yes you can come as a healthcare assistant to uk but you need to prepare yourself for all these challenges and you might ask but Popo, what's with the angry emojis in your thumbnail? The angry emojis are because I spent 10 years of my life teaching nurses. I'm a tutor by profession. 
And do you know how difficult it is to teach adults? Do you know how difficult it is to make an adult understand what pharmacodynamics is, what pharmacokinetics is? Do you know how difficult it is to make someone understand the Krebs cycle? I'll be like, an antagonist can block access to a receptor from the natural agonist by creating a lock and key effect. And the students will be like, Then I try and explain, no guys, this is this is a receptor, this is an antagonist, so it's going to create a lock and key effect like this. You see, because it's going to fit in, it fits in like a glove, it's a lock, this is a key, so this is a lock, lock and key effect. Then the next thing they're going to report that I've been threatening to beat them up. <laughs> guys, may you kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos but you see guys after having struggled to try and explain and make someone understand what pharmacokinetics is what pharmacodynamics is what the Krebs cycle is then someone after passing their nursing career they go and choose to work as a healthcare assistant for five years because the contract is five years why you want to do me like that why no 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 guys I remember when we're doing a, uh, you know, when you're working in the school of nursing, you go for career days. I remember I went for career days. My former teacher was proud of me. He put his hand on my shoulder and said to his students, guys, he didn't say guys, it's me like saying guys, said guys, this is my former student Pauline Moyo and she is now a tutor at the middle school of nursing. She was one of the best students. I felt so good. So what do you want me to do when I meet a student who was very good in class? You want me to say, oh guys, this is my former student, Benjamin Tambara. He was very good in class and he is now a healthcare assistant. For the why? Hmm? For the why? Please. Please. Do not come to UK as a healthcare assistant. Please. Dedicate yourself to reading your IELTS, change your strategies, your approach, and all that. Instead of spending five years working as a healthcare assistant in UK, you'd rather spend one year studying your IELTS and you write your IELTS and you pass your IELTS. Remember, if you fail your IELTS, do not delay to go and rewrite the IELTS. I know that money is an issue, but you sacrifice, you borrow, you do whatever it takes for you to rewrite your IELTS when it's, when it's still fresh in your mind. So that if you rewrite your IELTS, if you get scores which are not uh, the required scores, you can always clear up your results because you need to clear up your results at least within six months. Don't wait for the whole year until those things that you have learned rust. As soon as you fail your IELTS, plan another date and go and rewrite your IELTS. And you can make it, guys. You can make it. There was a saying at school, if others can did it, so can you did it too. So if others are doing it, nothing can stop you from doing it. You just need to keep pushing. Push, push, push until you pass your IELTS and you come here as a net. I'm against things which are going to give you temporal gratification to say, yes, I'm out of Kwasata or I'm out of whatever country that you are trying to run away from, but you are not happy. The happiness is short-lived. You would rather have delayed gratification, but get something that you deserve. Do not settle for less. Never let yourself be so desperate that you settle for less than you deserve. You never find a doctor saying, I felt my IELTS, I'm going to go to UK as a nurse. Do you know if a doctor will stand up? No. You fight for what you deserve, guys. Fight for what you deserve and come and work as nurses here in the UK because that is what you deserve. You deserve to work as a nurse because you are a nurse. You don't deserve to work as a healthcare assistant. That being said, it doesn't mean that I've got anything against healthcare assistants. If you are a healthcare assistant and you are willing to come to UK as a healthcare assistant and fork out all these monies that people are forking out, it's fine, but you have to be prepared to struggle in life and work very hard in life. 
for you to have a good living for you to be able to have your family join you and all that this is all that i wanted to share with you guys thank you so much for coming to my channel don't forget to like subscribe and share 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 i will see you in my next video don't come as healthcare assistant